Good morning. Bienvenidos a otra vlog. Estamos en Panama. Welcome back to another vlog. We are in Panama. It's been a very long time since I've done any video, whether it's a vlog or anything. I haven't filmed in months. But today is a special day. We're in Panama to celebrate my birthday on Tuesday. Mi cumpleaños es primero de agosto, el martes aquí. I think I said that correctly. I don't know why I said it's on Tuesday here, but it's on Tuesday. And so this morning, is, today is my first full day. Hoy es sábado. Today is my first full day. So I think it's hoy es mi primero, no, día primero in Panama. I'm practicing my Spanish, y'all. Like, I have to. Necesito practicar. Mi español necesito muy trabajo. Muy. Muy. No. Mucho. Lord, pray. It's been so long since I've used my Spanish. Like I've been taking Spanish since like the second grade, and I stopped using it somewhere along high somewhere along high school. So, I gotta, I gotta do better. But anyways, today is my first day here, my first full day here in Panama. I got here yesterday. I had to fly from Raleigh to Atlanta, and when I landed in Atlanta, that's when I found out that my flight was delayed an hour. And I was like, is this a delay that's turning into a cancellation? Or is this a delay where you're like, y'all was expecting my plane to come and it's not here yet. And so it's a delay. But luckily, as you can see, we're here. Everyone has been so nice and friendly and welcoming. I'm staying at the Waldorf Astoria in Panama City. And I did film a room tour yesterday before it got a little crazy in here. <laughs> By crazy, I mean like I have clothes everywhere. So... I am going to show you guys that that I already filmed and then also kind of exploring the hotel. So they have like a spa here, a rooftop pool. They have like breakfast on the rooftop. They have like a bar and restaurant downstairs. Um, concierge that helps you set up different tours and excursions. And I think I said spa already. I have a spa day planned for my birthday, but I'm considering canceling the spa and going on an excursion instead. But we'll see. But I just got back from breakfast on the rooftop and it was so beautiful. I did film a little bit of it, but it was kind of dark because the rooftop has like an indoor area and an outdoor area. So I sat outside, but it was like shaded. So it's a little dark. So I don't know how good the footage is. So I'll probably have to do it again another day so that way you guys can get the whole experience. But I'm so excited to be here. I'm so happy. Like... You guys know how they always say like girls go to a new city and have like one drink at a bar and decide that they can live somewhere? I got off the plane and was like taking the Uber to downtown and I was like, I could live here. I could live here. And then I had my all my seeded fruits this morning for breakfast. I had um La Palabra, no, La Palabra, La Palabra del Dia es maracuya. The word of today is papaya, not papaya, passion fruit. I had three huge halves of passion fruit today because it was so good and i'm just excited to be here so i think what i'm gonna do is finish getting ready and then head to see the museums and like explore downtown a little bit this is what i'm wearing it's a little i can't tell if it's cloudy or not because i think this window was a little tinted but it is technically the rainy season right now. I think the rainy season is from May to November, I think, something. This is the rainy season. I don't remember the whole timeline, but this is the rainy season. So I haven't seen any rain yet, but it has been a little cloudy. But I was like, well, when are you gonna get to go to Panama again? Like, you can always come back during dry season, but like, why well, pass up? It rains in it rains in America all the time. It rains where you live all the time, and you still go outside. So come to Panama and let it rain and go outside. So here we are. But I'm gonna finish getting ready. This is what I'm wearing today. This dress is from TJ Maxx. I don't know if you can see the whole. Probably not. But yeah, 
this is it. It's a long little flowy dress. I might wear my sneakers instead because I think I'm going to be doing a lot of walking. So I'm probably going to put on my Reeboks that I bought right now. I have on some sandals, but yeah, we're going to go out and explore the city, practice our Spanish, try some new foods, some new drinks, and let's get it. <laughs> Like here, the prices for the steaks were similar to what we have in the States, but the steak was like way bigger than what we usually would have in the States. So now we're just walking around like the downtown um, Casco Viejo, which was about 15 minutes from the hotel. And I'm just gonna find a rooftop maybe, or like a little bar to have some drinks, or either head back to the hotel for a little bit, but there's so many dogs and cats everywhere. And you can tell that the people here like feed them and everything because they all look, they're homeless, but they all look like they're eating. But one of the museums that we went to was the museum about the, the museum that's about the Panama Canal and the history behind it and how all these different countries like contributed to the history of the Panamanian Canal and highly recommend. It's $15 a person. But if you're a student or a resident, obviously you get a discount. Oh, look at this little garden. So we're probably just gonna continue walking around the city for a bit and just getting to know the area. Hopefully you guys can hear me because the music is like loud and I know how YouTube is copywriting and then like obviously life is going on in the city. So yeah, but I'll continue to bring you guys along with me for the day as I figure out what's next. He doesn't see ya You're not looking at me right The 
of my first full day in Panama. So I had breakfast at my hotel and then went to the Contemporary Art Museum. And then after that, I went to the museum, the Panama Canal Museum. There's like a full museum on just the history of the Panama Canal. So I highly recommend. The Contemporary Art Museum is $5 and then the uh, Panama Canal Museum is $15. It's a huge museum, it's like three floors. And then afterwards, we just walked around in the area. So the Panama Canal Museum is in Casca Viejo. And so it's like a lot of places to eat, there's drinks, more museums, shops, all that. It's like also like local neighborhoods as well. So you can see like the kids playing and like small like street food vendors and like street vendors. And then there's like people doing like walking tours. And then after we went to the museum, we went to this place called Marzala, I believe is what it's called. It was actually Argentinian food, which we didn't know when we walked in. We kind of just was like, this place is cute. It's like a nice vibe in here. We're gonna go. The food was really good. So I feel like compared to the US, like the prices here, they may seem similar, but like the portions here are a lot bigger and like more aligned with your money. Like we got one huge steak, fries, garlic bread, two mojitos, two beers, and I think it was like $50. And I think it was $50 after tip or before tip. One, either way, it was only $50. And then we just walked around the area. We saw like a cathedral, a couple of um, like statues. We saw a um, community garden where they allow people to bring their food scraps and they'll compost it for them and then give them like the compost material as fertilizer for at home. And then we saw a Blue Moon Cafe, which was shocking to see because, or a Blue Moon restaurant, because I think Blue Moon is based in Belgium and we're here in Panama, so people still very much so gentrifying Panama because we saw a sign that said stop the gentrification, which is interesting to see. But the Blue Moon Cafe or Blue Moon Restaurant was nice. They had great drinks. They had good music. I didn't have any food, but the menu looked like it was good. And they have like a lot of like signature drinks. They were playing all the soccer games today. So then we kind of came back to the room and came down, came back to turn down service where like our room attendant left us a little card, like a little card thanking us for our time and staying here and this like little postcard, but it's not a postcard because you can't write on the back, but definitely a souvenir that I will be keeping. And then you get these little chocolates. They come around at night and they give these little Panamanian chocolates. They're so cute. So this is pretty much the end of tonight. We'll probably see if we can catch the fight that's going on tonight in the States. I forgot. Well, what time is it? It might be almost over, but we probably go to the bar here because I think it's open until midnight or the pool is on the rooftop. We have to see if they're still open though. It probably is still open because it's very much so no rules in Panama. So if you're planning on getting a rental car, just know if you're not an aggressive driver you're not going to be you're not going to make it here because there are no stoplights there's just stop signs in one ways and that's it there's very little stoplights like in casca viejo you gotta like if you need to turn you need to you need to kind of like take charge and turn and like so many times i was having like little mini panic attacks like they're gonna hit this car they're gonna hit this car but We'll probably do that and then tomorrow we're heading to the first excursion of the trip we're going to go to mogo mogo island someplace i've never been before and that i've never heard of before so i can't take credit for this idea but it's like a i think it's an uh well obviously it's an island but they have like several beaches and like caves they have like food vendors beach vendors all that stuff drinks um, the lady downstairs um, at the concierge was telling us about the ceviche that's on the island and I am very much so a ceviche lover. So I will be trying that. I will let you know ahead of time that you should have cash when you're doing your excursions if they're outside of, like if you're going to different islands because a lot of the places here in Panama, they're very like still not necessarily locally owned, but like 
native owned. So like the tourist, anyone that's not a resident of Panama, they have to pay like a tax to go. So tomorrow we have to pay like $7 in cash for the um, outside of the normal excursion fee. So yeah, that's the adventure for tomorrow. Let me see if I was looking for something to show you guys, but I can't remember now. But as far as learning like your language here, you don't necessarily need Spanish to get around, but because most people do speak English and they can tell that you speak English or they'll ask you if you speak English or if you want the menu in English or Spanish. But I think it's just courteous when you go to a new country to kind of like learn their language and like at least make an attempt and try because everyone's really nice and they're friendly and I feel like I like to practice my Spanish, but then like then they start talking back to me a little too quick and I'm like, all right, we're gonna switch to English because it's getting too much. My brain can't translate fast enough. But that's how my first day has been. And I didn't have my first drink, but I have decided that I can live here before I had my first drink. I was just driving in and I was like, I could live here. People are nice. The cost of living is cheap. Uber. Uber is super cheap here. So like every Uber today has been like less than $4. I think it's been like $3.50 for 15 minutes, five minutes, $3, like all of them. So tip your Uber drivers very well, okay? Remember that your US dollar goes very far in Panama. So be courteous at the Panamanians, okay? Don't come out here and be cheap. But yeah, otherwise, I'll see you guys tomorrow at Mogo Mogo Island. <laughs>
um, or yeah, probably worth the money or maybe even the trip. So I came with the tour company. So just an FYI for if you're looking to come to Panama, like the tourist uh, groups or tourist companies to go on any like excursions and stuff, they're all licensed for the country. So just be on the lookout for that to like avoid scams and stuff like that. But so the company that I came with, we had to be meet them at seven. The boat was supposed to leave at 7.30 and it was supposed to be an hour and a half boat ride. And I feel like it ended up being a little bit longer than an hour and a half. I feel like it was like two hours. Well, first we left late. We didn't leave until like eight or 8.30, maybe eight, it, a little after eight. And then something that was fun on the way here, we did get to see like, we did get to do a little bit of whale watching because the whales are migrating right now. So we got to see like a lot of the families of whales, like, you know, do their little, free willy thing and so that was cute and then we came to the island and the pictures just weren't really matching the pictures in the itinerary on the website well well the pictures in the pic pictures on the website wasn't matching the itinerary when we got here so on the website it shows like these different caves that you can swim in and all these different beaches and stuff and then when we got here they like told us we can be at different beaches for like 30 minutes and then one of them you can't come to unless you can swim and then it's like but I'm like why do you get to swim to the cave like if it's supposed to be like sand like a beach island situation or a separate part of the island and there's other caves that are like further out into the water it's just like a lot oh my gosh is that an iguana hold on look do you see that little head poking up I think that's him is that him? That is him. Oh my gosh. Look at him. Anyways, brief intermission for nature. Um, so they were trying to like, I think we're supposed to have like about five hours on the island and they kept trying to like split. It's like, oh, you can wait here for 30 minutes. Do this one for 30 minutes. Do this one for 30 minutes. Do this one for 30 minutes. But we've been sitting for the last like, for the last two hours of this trip after like it's just it was a hundred dollars a person and that was like their sales price they had going on and then you get to pay like a ten dollar tourism fee like in cash so per person and so it ended up being like a hundred and ten i think per person and it included lunch and they don't do transportation to the boat you have to like take an uber or a taxi or from your hotel or whatever to the um docks and that's about 15 20 minutes from downtown um from panama city but i would definitely say like it's the beaches are nice like they're pretty but it's like they're not anything spectacular but you can't see better anywhere else like i feel like i probably should have gone to san blas over this excursion but the san blas the san blas san blas excursions like an all-day thing like it's 16 hours for like a day trip and all the tour groups and like different youtubers that i've watched that it went for like the overnight trips or like the multi-day trips they were like the food is absolutely not it like what they provide is like not good and one thing about me i need to eat okay i need to enjoy my food so i can't be out living in survivor world and not eat like I can do the survivor part, but I didn't be able to eat still. So that's why we opted out of that trip. But this kind of just was like very lackluster. So we'll probably try to figure out and, and do like a different excursion either tomorrow or Tuesday. My birthday is on Tuesday. So maybe we'll do something on Tuesday because we leave on Wednesday. I don't want to leave yet, but the time is flying but yeah i can definitely say like it wasn't really super worth it for sure like yeah i'm just happy like it's not an all-day thing because i like to leave when i'm ready to go i'm ready to go so like we kept switching to all these different little beaches and pools of water like the natural pools and we went to the beach but when you come off the boat to get here you're on the beach like, let me show you right here is where we not landed but like we landed 
and so all along here is all beach all this is beach so like and then behind me on this side back there we see those little huts and stuff those little tables that's also a beach but then we also hiked to like two other beaches and i'm like why are we doing all this hiking we're already at the beach like so it was just a lot and it was a lot that wasn't like explained on the website either so it's like it's a learning experience like everything with travel like doesn't go well all the time so it's part of the experience but i can definitely say would not recommend the trip if you were thinking about coming at least not with this particular tour group i wouldn't say don't come again but i most likely will not be repeating this <laughs> So that's just like, I feel like I had to give this review like now, like in the moment while I'm here, instead of waiting until I got back to my hotel, because I need to like, I have to get this energy like off my chest. Good sale rack and today we'll probably go to the mall maybe maybe do a coffee tour a Panamanian coffee tour I don't know I don't know the day is very much still open possibly go to Tobago Island I don't know because it's just so rainy and gloomy today but I'm proud of me because I've been speaking Spanish all morning and practicing because if I'm gonna live here, I gotta be able to talk to people. Hopefully YouTube don't copyright me because they're playing music. So I'm gonna have to probably chop this up. But for breakfast, we're having uh, maracuya, melon, papaya, pan, omelet, vegetales, tocino, uh, cafe, of course. And then, of course, the view. something that is an anomaly or non-existent in the United States. This may look like your typical green green. However, the ones in here, the ones here, actually have, can you that up? There's seeds in them. A seeded green grape is an anomaly at least in the united states but everything here has been like seeded I'm telling you they're trying to kill us or sterilize us which essentially will kill us anyway but you know so i'm at afternoon tea downstairs in my lobby at my hotel and it comes with like a complimentary mimosa as well and i chose the chai spice tea But I definitely need milk with my tea. I'm more of like a, well, also I'm having chai. So of course I need milk with the chai. But I prefer honey in my tea instead of sugar, azúcar. But when in Rome, or when in Panama, when at a tea party. <laughs> So we got our little like tea platter and I have like salmon, like a salmon tostada situation 
it looks like a biscuit and then like a um oh my gosh what are these things called one of these i forgot what they're called like little quiches or something like a mini quiche and then of course they gave us some cream cheese and then we got some jellies and then like some honey look how cute it is it's so little but yeah i'm super excited because i'm kind of hungry and everything looks so good and i feel like it's kind of like a cute little experience like my sister and i were talking about going to a tea party like a place back in maryland but like i've never been to a tea party until now so i'm excited to go i'm excited because this stuff is as good as it looks i'm telling you and all i had to do was just come downstairs and talk to my concierge at the hotel and they set it up here in their um lobby restaurant Ooh. Yesterday I went on that excursion and I was like, oh, I did good. I didn't get bit by any mosquitoes. I wake up this morning, I am covered in mosquito bites. Covered. They had a feast with me. A feast. Like, I didn't feel like I got bit because I didn't feel any bites. And then on top of that, I wasn't itching. And then this morning I got one itch and then I just looked at my skin and I'm like covered in mosquito bites. But anyways, afternoon tea went really well, and now we're at the pool. I'm itching. Oh my gosh, I'm itching so bad. Oh my gosh. I'm trying my, bad, bad, my best not to scratch, because I know that makes it worse. Like, it pushes, like, the whole, what is it, the saliva, bacteria, irritant into your skin further. But, yeah. So I'm at the pool. This is my first time, like, hanging out at the pool since I've been here. And it's a nice rooftop pool. I feel like it looks better in the pictures, but everything looks better in the pictures. But there's a family here, and thank God they're leaving because they have kids that's in here thinking this is the Olympics. And this pool, I think, is like four feet deep, three feet deep. Take that to the YMCA. Take it to your local YMCA. But anyways, yeah, so we're hanging out at the pool. Tomorrow we have an early morning starting at probably like 6. So we'll see how late we stay up. But yeah, the pool's really cute. And I'll do like a panning shot and everything once like these people leave. Cause they in here like doing tricks and filming on the GoPro and this ain't that. And when you see the pool, sorry, my hair is blonde. And when you see the pool, you're gonna be like, take that somewhere else. The only thing I can say that I would wish at this hotel, about this hotel, is that I wish it was five, like not five star, it is five star. I wish that it was adults only because like people can't speak in the way. And that's no offense to people that are parents or anything, but it's like this morning when I was at breakfast, there was a family and they came to breakfast super late. And then they came to breakfast with three kids and the kids were being like bad. And the parents, if they just, they just wanted to ignore them. And they're like disrupting other people. And the parents didn't say anything and i'm just like please do something like they're screaming and kicking they're fighting i was like this is too much like it was your decision to have kids let them get on your nerves like let them get on your nerves they're yours and they're just like like not paying any attention if they're not their kids but anyways i'm gonna show you guys like a whole pan of like the pool and the hot tub area and I'll see you guys in a minute. Sorry, I'm staring at this family because they're kind of like staring at me. And yeah. The pool hour. The pool hour has come to an end. Unfortunately, I would have to definitely say that the pool is like 
probably one of the downfalls of this hotel like only because it can need a little bit of work it can need a little bit of work it can use a little bit of work so the hot tub was actually pretty cold so i didn't even try getting into the pool but it is a nice view look at that it's so cute and they have like a bar over here during the day it's kind of shut down now so it's like really no point well i'll show it to you anyway hold on that area over there is like a bar, but like they took all the drinks and stuff down obviously because it's closed. This is the pool, look at that. And then the view. Yeah, I feel like this pool area and this view is just like too nice to not be like this nice of a pool. Like it could use some work, but yeah. So I think now i'm probably gonna head into well i'm already in the city but like down the street there is a roof, a couple of rooftop bars so i think i want to change out of this because i didn't even get in i just like put my legs in the hot tub and i was like oh this is cold but i think now i'm gonna like change get dressed and probably head to the rooftop bar one of the rooftop bars that are around the corner I kind of just see what it's like and have a couple of drinks. I do have a very early morning tomorrow, so I'm probably gonna pack my things tonight before I head out. That way, I don't have to worry about it in the morning. I can just get dressed and go to breakfast. But yeah, so I'll see you guys later tonight. Cumpleaños, soy 31, and I am in Anton Valley getting ready to hike to the waterfalls and see some mountains. Me in this trusty Yellowstone sweatshirt that has been saving my skin as much as possible from the elements, aka the sun and the mosquitoes. So, see you guys on the trail. I pull my hair up with 
I'm in the jungle of Panama and it may sound absurd but I'm eating a real orange like the water content insane like look at the seeds the seeded fruit out here is insane and I'm in the middle of like a garden right now so it's like fruits herbs vegetables but this orange it wasn't even orange it was like a green color its skin was green but it smelled amazing. Look. Mm -hmm. So insane. I'm super sweaty at this point, but we're having Marengo. Where else can you go on a hike? Or where can you go on a hike in the States and not have to pack snacks because the snacks are amongst you? The water is amongst you. Where? a very 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 long full amazing day exploring the jungles of Panama I come back to my room to a birthday cake look and I just had cake at a local bakery obviously but I'm gonna eat this too because it's my birthday I was like oh my gosh this is so cute like shout out to the Hilton because they did their thing. Forget the past, you look forward to the future because it's the best to come yet. Happy birthday. I can definitely say this has like been the best birthday ever. The most different birthday ever, but the best one ever. Like being out in the jungle and seeing how people live, like picking up mangoes off the streets and eating them, maracuya, like just being free and in gardens and like the waterfalls and seeing like all the animals and stuff. It's just been a great day. I'm very full. I feel full in my soul, but I'm also very tired. So the next time I see you guys, I'll be a year older or I am a year older. But it'll be tomorrow and I'll be heading home. So I'm gonna go take a shower. Good night. <sighs> My time in Panama has come to an end for now. I already started looking at flights to come back in the winter. Well, our winter in the States, their summer here. Because like it's just been a dream being here. Everyone at this hotel has been so nice, so friendly and i'm just sad to be leaving and going back to work tomorrow <laughs> back to reality <laughs> but this is pretty much the end of the vlog i 
we'll see you guys back in the States. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.